Hello, I am Gregory Loving, Chair of the University Faculty and Marshal for today's All University Commencement Ceremony. As we all deal with a microscopic enemy, we are here today to celebrate your larger-than-life academic achievements. The 201st All University Commencement Ceremony of the University of Cincinnati is now opened. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce you to Victoria Propitkin from the College Conservatory of Music, who will sing the National Anthem. Congratulations graduates and welcome to the full doctoral hooding and master's recognition ceremony for the University of Cincinnati's class of 2020. I'm Neville Pinto. Many thanks to our singer from the College Conservatory of Music, Victoria Popritkin, and to our Student Affairs Division and the Graduate School for their work in preparing today's ceremony. As you know, we had hoped that by now we could all be together in Fifth Third Arena to celebrate your graduation. Distance and space may still separate us, yet we are nonetheless joined in our common sense of happiness and pride at your remarkable achievement today. This feat is not something you've accomplished alone. Let's take a moment to thank those who helped you to reach this milestone, starting with your family and loved ones. No matter where you are at this moment, Let's give them a round of applause. There are also members of your UC family who have helped you as you work through months and years of studies. I want to voice appreciation to our faculty and staff for all that they have done to teach, support, and guide you. In all today, class of 2020, our graduates are 2,348 strong, representing graduates of fall semester. Hailing from 48 different nations and 48 states, you are receiving 2,457 degrees. Among them, in this ceremony, are 124 doctorates, five professional degrees, and 827 masters. One thing the pandemic did not sideline this year was the completion of your hard-earned degree. That's definitely something to cheer and smile about. Remember smiles? Because of our masks, we haven't seen many smiles lately. Today especially, I hope you share numerous, genu genuinely big smiles with your families and pods at home. And while you're at it, please share your smile with the rest of us on social media using our hashtag UCGrad20. We will all be beaming right along with you. 
No matter where you were raised, no matter your religion or culture, a smile speaks eloquently and universally. It is also one of the simplest and easiest ways to show someone a kindness. Kindness is, in fact, one of the key virtues that I hope the University of Cincinnati has successfully nurtured within you. And it is the primary message I want to emphasize as you receive your degree and start the next stage in your life. Kindness is perhaps more often connected to kindergarten lessons than to career skills. Yet, a recent management book, Leading with Kindness, suggests organizations that want to work smarter and more effectively need people who care about their work, their company, and each other. That takes kind leadership, and it also takes kindness toward one another. But more than a business proposition, kindness is the surest way to earn respect and appreciation. And it doesn't cost money or require a title. It starts with having empathy, the ability to recognize, understand, and share the thoughts and feelings of another person and experience their point of view. No doubt, each of you has experienced kindness that made a difference in your own life. You know how powerful that can be, even in its simplicity. Kindness can be as basic as holding the door for someone carrying packages, listening to a friend in trouble, welcoming a new neighbor, letting someone change lanes in front of you on a crowded highway, or forgiving someone you work with for having a bad day. It can also be life-saving, like the Dutch citizen Miep Gies and her colleagues who helped hide Anne Frank and her family from the Nazis for two years before they were discovered. Or like the 200 retirees in Japan who volunteered to clean up the nuclear disaster left at Fukushima, power plant to save the lives of younger workers. Cultures and religions all around the world value kindness. Just a few examples. In South Africa, the philosophy of the Ubuntu encourages sharing resources, taking care of travelers, and taking care of each other. Ubuntu literally means I am because we are. What an absolutely beautiful sentiment. In Iran, a person anonymously created a brightly painted wall of kindness, and the idea spread to other places throughout the nation, with walls holding hangers and pegs, with spaces for people to donate items such as clothes, food, or books. In Naples, Italy, the suspended coffee is a tradition over a century old and is becoming more common in cities around the globe. A patron pays for two coffees, allowing another customer to claim the extra one for free. One amazing impact of kindness is that the single action of one person can double and triple through its ripple effects. It has been said, kind words are short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. And that is literally true. It echoes in other people, and it has benefits to your own state of being. The science of kindness is becoming clearer. Studies have found a close association between the kindness and happiness. Acting kindly can also increase chemical substances in your brain that enhance your feelings of satisfaction and well-being. Among them, serotonin and oxytocin, both associated with mood. It has also been shown to raise self-esteem, lessen anxiety, and decrease blood pressure. While kindness may not be typically associated with the next steps of a new graduate, it is embedded in our Bearcat bond. In this pledge, we aspire to continuously better ourselves, the Bearcat community, and the world. That is why, in addition to your chosen field of study, our academic community has also worked to exercise your empathetic muscle. You know as well as anyone that these days there is an app for everything. Yes, we have available to us kindness apps and websites to help us. But I have confidence that you have become proficient enough to be kind all on your own. Its rewards will come back to you and to all of us. In closing, let me share one last lesson. It comes from a prolific American fiction writer whose body of work often highlights the cruelty of humanity. Henry James gave us this advice to his nephew about the three most important things in life. He said the first is to be kind, the second is to be kind, and the third is to be kind. I hope you will put all three into action. 
Congratulations again, class of 2020. Be kind to one another. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Ronald Brown. Thank you, President Pinto, and congratulations, class of 2020. As graduates, you will long remember the trials of this year, but know that these times will soon be over. And as the saying goes, these challenges have brought darkest hours, which have revealed to all of us the true strength of the brilliant light within you that can never, ever be dimmed. On behalf of my colleagues on our Board of Trustees, congratulations on staying the course and successfully completing your degrees. As trustees, our number one priority is your success. To see you graduate and receive the degree that you've worked so hard to achieve and to see you use your degree to achieve your future goals. That's why your commencement today gives us so much joy knowing you have reached this very important and eagerly awaited milestone. As an alumnus of UC, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you into our family of over 315,000 alumni. You make us proud. Again, congratulations, class of 2020. Go Bearcats! Hi, my name is Rachel Karam, and I am a doctoral candidate in the College of Allied Health Sciences. I was a speech pathologist working in the greater Cincinnati area. I had lived in the area for about a year, had become um, very interested and had expertise in multilingual language development. And so I got connected with some of the professors in the communication sciences and disorders department. And then from that time, I was um, became aware of an opportunity to apply for the doctoral program through a research grant focusing on culture and linguistic diversity. So for me, it really felt like the stars aligned um, for me to uh, start my doctoral work and expand my knowledge base about research with multilingual children in speech language pathology. I would say um, some of the most memorable times that I had at UC was uh, the ability to work in the um, international uh, research projects um, offered to the communication sciences and disorders department. Just one memory that really brought so many uh, smiles um, to my face and I just I can picture it so clearly. We were um, working at a school in Jamaica and it you know there were a lot of nerves going to a new school, going to a new place, new culture and walking into the school and just having the children just greet you with open arms and auntie is it my turn is it my turn I want to turn next I would say that was one of my my favorite UC memories say one of the uh, most challenging experiences during my doctoral program was in 2019. I was really starting to be at the peak of what I felt like my research skills, my writing skills. I was getting ready to enter candidacy as well and at that time I was in a car accident where I sustained a spinal cord injury and a brain injury. Um, so that time was definitely um, one of the most challenging experiences not only in my doctoral studies but throughout my life um, and it really enlightened me as far as how quickly things can change um, in an instant. And so for me, I went from being at a level where I felt like I was at the peak of my craft to then um, having substantial difficulties doing routine daily tasks. I needed support to be able to um, bathe myself. And an accomplishment for me at that time was being able to both cognitively and motorically coordinate, even being able to make a bowl of cereal. I wondered if I would ever be able to um, to achieve my ultimate goal right at the time where I really felt like it was finally in reach. And so it took, um, it took a lot of effort and it took a lot of support um, from my family, friends, my husband, and then also my Bearcat UC family. And then on my return to school, it was, I was out uh, for about six months um, in my recovery period. And when I returned, some days were really challenging to where I felt I was um, counting down the minutes. Um, if I could just make it to that next hour, then I would be one step closer. Now I can say, looking back, um, I'm very thankful for the experience and I was able to get a new perspective. I had always been the therapist um, and in this case, I had become the patient. 
Um, I participated in a six-month rehabilitation program, um, receiving occupational therapy, speech therapy, and physical therapy. And um, from that time, then learned different adaptations and along my recovery to be able to then um, eventually achieve my goal. I can't thank my advisors and my mentors, Carla Washington and Amy Hobeck, enough, they advocated for me and made sure that I had all of the supports that I needed at the time, visual supports, modifying my program to make sure that I could meet my goals. My goal was to be able to graduate in 2020, and it feels um, really nice to say now that I have achieved that. To my fellow Bearcats, I want to encourage you. I hope that my story has brought you some inspiration and to know that no matter what you're going through, no matter what challenges you've been through in your program and beyond as you start this next exciting new journey, know that take each day one step at a time and you will continue to succeed and you'll continue to thrive and meet your goals. This chapter is written, page is full, written long and hard, but in the end, we see a star who continued to develop even under pressure, who pushed on no matter what weather. Even in the times you felt you couldn't, you did. Even in the times you felt weak, you never hid. This chapter is beautiful. You have crafted a one of a kind story, full of ups and downs, rights and wrongs, but you fought and now you see victory. Staring at the finish line, shocked that you made it this far, the power to succeed was always within you. This story is not your last one. It is just the blueprint to the book, the first step of many, the antidote to your hook. In the next chapter to come, I hope you find happiness, opportunity, live life and live young, live courageously and live loud, speak up and speak out. This next story is yours, you just have to claim it. Speak life into what you want and you shall have. Look back on your story and your triumphs in times that you may feel bad. Know that the greatness in you will never diminish. You still have work to do. You're far from finished. You must decide whether this is your story's beginning or end. I hope you write this story all the way through until the end. With love, peace, and light, congratulations, class of 2020. I hope your next story is marvelous. Graduates, congratulations on your remarkable achievement. You persevered through unthought of circumstances to achieve your goals and earn your degree from the University of Cincinnati. As deans of the colleges, we could not be more proud of you. And we wish you great success as you step confidently into the future. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. President Pinto, I have the honor to present for the appropriate degrees, those persons who've been recommended by the fantastic faculty of the College of Allied Health Sciences, of the College of Arts and Sciences, of the Lindner College of Business, the university's nationally ranked and internationally renowned College Conservatory of Music, the faculty of the College of Design, Architecture, Art and Planning, the College of Education, Criminal Justice, Human Services, and Information Technology, by the innovative faculty who invented co-op the Faculty of the College of Engineering and Applied Science. Of the Graduate School. The College of Medicine. The world-renowned College of Nursing. Of the Winkle College of Pharmacy. Again, congratulations to all our graduates. Please rise to join in singing the alma mater.
It took so much work to get this far. Having a college degree is a huge accomplishment. It's no easy feat to complete a rigorous academic program such as we have at the University of Cincinnati. Congratulations, what an accomplishment on finishing your degree. Congratulations 2020 Bearcat grads. Congratulations, we're proud of you. And best wishes on the next leg of your journey. Welcome to the Alumni Bearcat Nation. Go, Go Bearcats. Bearcats! Go Bearcats. Go Bearcats. Go Bearcats. You made it. You made it. You see. 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 The all-university commencement is officially concluded. Thank you for attending this historic 201st all-university virtual ceremony. We wish you and your family the best as we navigate these unprecedented times.